come back to Martin Luther King Anderson. Sandra Frisella, Mark Bodette. I'll go with Repertory Theater. Harvey. Yep. Opens when, you guys? March 4th to the 7th. What's today? Today is... February the 20-something. Yeah. yeah. It's next Twi Wednesday. February the 24th. So you open a... W okay, a week from Wednesday. Yes. Where? At Grand Gardens North. North. Yes. You move from the downtown location, because you know why? Because the shows are doing so well and audiences are loving it, they needed a bigger space. <laughs> That's why I'm saying that. Um, okay, so... Why Harvey? Who chose it? Why? Um, I chose it. Um, I mean, it's it's a timeless classic. It's uh, it's very funny, um, but I, th I think the subject matter is very fitting. It's uh, you know, it's about a guy who's a, a bit of a, an oddball. Um, very who plays him? Uh, I do. That's surprise, right. surprise. Type casting. <laughs> um, okay. I, I mean, he's a bit of an oddball, uh, very happy-go-lucky. Um, Would some people still call him a simpleton? Uh, no, not at all. No, no he's, he's very no. bright. He's just... <laughs> Andrew's like, no! no he, you know what, he just, he does not have a mean bone in his body, and oh. he's the type of person who'll go up to anybody on the street who he doesn't know and just strike up a conversation. He's a man who has, full, he's full of genuine spirit of, of, of connecting with people. He changes the lives of every single person that he meets in this oh, play. Oh, I like this story. Yeah. Absolutely. He's a generous, What's he do for a lad. living? Well, he doesn't work anymore. Why not? Oh, because he's uh, well-to-do. <gasps> he's wealthy? He's wealthy. No yes. wonder he's freaking happy That's and right. go That's lucky and right. carefree. That's right. <laughs> Where does the invisible rabbit come into the story? So, um, so is that I'll, a fair question? It is a fair since question. The, since the Harvey, so Harvey is the rabbit, um, isn't it? Harvey is yeah. the rabbit. Yes. Harvey is the rabbit. Yeah. yeah. So El Elwood ha has a best friend who who is a puka, which is a. a uh, a spirit That's who a thing? appears. It's a, it's a, it's a Celtic uh, myth. Uh, a spirit that um, appears in animal form. Um, so uh, Elwood and Harvey go to bars and they meet people and. But nobody else sees the rabbit. Uh, no, actually, a couple other people do throughout really? the show, and and uh, you know don't admit to it because they think that uh, you know they'll be viewed as crazy. As cra yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people think that El was like mm, not you know not exactly. right there, and, and but one, it's not true. One of the reasons why I I, I felt it was really. Uh, uh, a good time to do this piece is in our day and age when when people seem a, a little bit different from society we we tend to uh, you know doctors tend to give them narcotics to make them normal mm -hmm. or whatever normal is yes. right to fit into whatever those molds are of what society thinks they should be exactly like define normal exactly yeah. whereas you have this this man Elwood P Dowd who is the most lovely generous human being who is filled with manners and yet people want to change him because they're embarrassed by it. <sighs> right? Because he's not normal That's by their right. standards. Correct. That's right. And one of the greatest things that, that Elwood says <laughs> in this entire piece is that his mother always told him, Elwood, in this world you have to be either oh so smart or oh so pleasant. And he says, for years I was smart. I recommend pleasant. <gasps> and that, in t for me, says everything about Elwood's character. Okay, the last time I think I saw you on stage, it was It's a Wonderful Life, mm -hmm. which also was a Jimmy Stewart film. You yes. have, do you have a real affinity for Jimmy, Jimmy Stewart uh, stuff? Not, or just, no, no, just no, no not really. You know, it just, um, when we were, when we were uh, picking out our, our initial four or five shows, um, you know, th these were two shows that hadn't been done in Sault Ste. Marie. I, no. I, know, I know Harvey was done, I believe, in Sioux, Michigan oh, okay. uh, about 15 years ago, but it's never been uh, to well, Sioux, you Ontario. Know, Mark, are you guys familiar with the year? that Because it, it, it was a black and white film starring Jimmy Stewart. So oh, yeah, 19, 1944. Yeah. Really, hey? Yeah, 1944, wow. written by Mary Chase, and which is a really a fascinating idea. Because now that's of the interesting, even to have a female screenwriter. Absolutely. In 1944. Well, it, was a play. it was a play first. Play first. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. yeah. She won the Pulitzer Prize. <gasps> Wow. Yeah. yeah. And it's a fascinating piece for a woman to be writing in 1944 because it doesn't, not only does it speak to mental health, but it also speaks on many levels about feminism and how she sees the world and how men and women treat each other in this world. So it's a very fascinating piece. What are the characters we get to meet in this show? Oh, well, oh we have two, two doctors, Dr. Sanderson and Dr. Chumley, who run the sanitarium um, that, that Elwood is brought to. So they actually try to institutionalize yes. Elwood. Yes. yes. So Elwood Elwood's sister, Vita Louise, is a very socially inclined human being and really wants oh. to get herself into the society, as well as her daughter, Myrtle May. 
so, loved his names. Oh, I know. It's fantastic, right? So she's trying to get her daughter Myrtle Bay into society, meet a nice young man who can therefore take care of her. But what stands in the way is unfortunately Elwood's best friend, Harvey, that he loves to introduce to everyone. <laughs> puts a little bit of a damper on her plans. So because of this, she decides, well, that is it. That is enough. We are taking care of this, and we got to get rid of them. Wow. So it's kind of a charming comedy, but it's got an edge to it. And yeah. Mark, so yeah. like I said, the last time I saw you, I actually needed some tissues because by the end of It's a Wonderful Life, I mean, I always cried at It's a Wonderful Life. Yes. But it's one thing to sit in your living room and go, oh, Zeus, Zeus, pedals. But then to sit in an audience at a theater and you, the character is saying, I want to live, I want to live. And there's me in the audience going, me too. I want to live too. I was, a I was a mess. That was a beautiful performance. And I'm looking forward to this one again. Yeah. Who else can we look forward to seeing in the show as far as local oh, actors go? You want to name some names? I know you can't name them all because it's a larger we have cast. But. Nula Kenny, uh, Penny Gribben, James McLaughlin, Peary Kaufman, oh, Ryan Byrne, yes. Brianna Nero, uh, oh Sonia Ostrowski. Oh, you got them from everywhere. I got goosebumps. Yeah. Yes. That's from like every theater company in existence. You brought them all together. People yeah. who have done only one show before. We have Ryan Byrne who's back on stage after 10 years. Footloose was have... the last time I think we saw Ryan. Yeah. No, he might have done other things since then, but yeah. I mean, it's Kate, a... Caitlin Byrne. Oh, Caitlin Byrne. Byrne Essie, oh, who's yeah. choreographing the Adams yes. family. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. her brother Andrew was yeah. in A Wonderful Life. He yeah, made exactly. a real impact yeah. on me. He was his, great, too. He played a yeah. younger you. Yeah. Yeah. Tim Bass, as well, is, uh, yeah, has a friend cameo. From, from, yeah. From, yeah, from yeah. Death is the Maid. Is he the taxi driver? Yes. Yes. I just yes. saw yeah. him and his wife recently. Yeah. 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 Oh, you guys, where, where can we get tickets? Oh, you can get them online at artinssm.com. Uh, um, you can also get them off of our Facebook event page, uh, as well as you can give us a call at 705-943-9519. <laughs> Okay, 943-9519, Algoma Repertory Theater's Facebook events page. Yes. And the other one was what? Our Is that email, an email address? The, well, no. our website. Website. Yes. Oh, the website. The website of ART in SSM.com. ART at SSM. In. 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 That's the website? Art a in SSM. Art in. How do you do an, a website that's an in? You'll Art. Right. A -R -T -I -N -S -S -M. A-R-T-I-N-S-S-M dot com. Art in SSM dot com. That's very clever. I should know this because I'm kind of on the board. <laughs> I should know the website. Okay, so um, dinner and show. Yes. yes. So dinner and show, uh, tickets are available Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Tickets are $65. You can do a show only as well, uh, which will be at 8 p.m., and those are 35 35 Lim Limited seating for, limited for show only. For sure. we, we encourage right. people to come and, I mean, it's a great meal. Grand Gardens always does a, you know, a great spread. and Multi-course. Yeah. And, yeah. I, you know, make an evening of it. Uh, you know, at cocktails at 6, dinner at 6.30, show at 8. Um, uh, and you're, right now, you're the only dinner theater in town, aren't you? We are, yeah. Which, and there was definitely a void. I mean, you've seen, have you seen people coming now? Have they, has it caught on that you're getting people who used to go to the pull chain shows and who used to go to the Family Life Theater show? Yeah, we safe. have yeah. we have three or four different groups that uh, you know um, table two on Thursday night. That's it's theirs. There's every you know, show, and, and they don't, we, we don't even have to send them tickets. They just show up at the door and say, "Yeah, we're table two. And wow, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's we've fantastic. Picked up some it regulars, is. and I mean that's how you grow business, right? Regulars. So once again, it's Harvey. It opens Wednesday, March the fourth. Fourth tickets available. Art in SueStMarie.com. A R T I N S S M dot com. Thank you. <laughs> Facebook <laughs> Facebook events page for Algoma Repertory Theater. Yep. And phone number once more. 705-943-9519. All right. I will be there with bells on. Awesome. And Perfect. and I'm gonna bring my Puku. Puka. 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 Sure. Yeah, his name is Keith. Yes, he works in the in the S. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he fades in and out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he sometimes on this show he's basically the invisible man because I talk about him all the time, but no one's ever really met him. He's your pokeroo. <laughs> he's my pokeroo. Yeah. Remember pokeroo Dennis Simpson. Oh well listen guys. <laughs> Thanks for being here so much. No, Congratulations. Best you. of luck with the show. Awesome. Wait, thank you. you're the director. Yes. I should make that clear. I don't know if I actually said that you are the director. How is it like working with him, directing it's, him? Well, it's great. It's really great. He does his work and he's fantastic. And the marriage survives. It does. All right. God bless. <laughs> we'll be back with Lou Ann right after this. <laughs>